Hey guys, this is Dorian Day and welcome to Serum in Depth number 32. Today I'm going to be showing you the loop back workaround so that loops inside of the LFO work how you might expect them to. So for example, what am I talking about? Well, let's make this a step sequencer. All right, and we'll put this on fil or filter cutoff. So first of all, if you want to set a start point so that it always starts at the same point, you have to click envelope. And then right click on some dot and hit set start point here. And now the LFO always starts there. So let's say, let's uh, set this um, start point back to here so we can see one of the issues. So let's uh, set the loop back point just over here. So the problem with this is if you want to loop from here to here, it's kind of difficult. You have to do a workaround. Um, but what I'm going to show instead, and it works in it works the same. You just have to think about it slightly differently. Is how to do this in from the middle because that's a question someone asked on the extra forum. So if we start, if you want to loop in between these sections right here. Yeah, okay. So if you want to if you want to loop this section, but you want to start here or somewhere else, what do you do? Well, you have to be able to set the loop back in a way that makes it loop correctly. And essentially what that means you have to do is shift your graph. Now I'm going to bring up another instance of Serum. Okay, so how many do I have to shift it? Well, I have to shift it so that the loop back is here and the start is here. So I have to shift this, um, if I wanted to end here, I have to shift this one, two, three over. So let's look at this one, starting here, or I guess, I guess we'll start here. So looking at this column, we have to shift this one, one, two, three, over. So we'll come over here and shift that up. Next behind that is this one, and it goes all the way down. Behind that is this one, and it goes all the way up. And then we have this one, it goes, um, just halfway up above, halfway th above the second um, cube. So that's there, there, and then here is slightly below. And then in the middle, And then just above. Oh, is this right? No, it, this is supposed to go up to here. There we go. Now you can see it shifted over. This section right here equates to this section right here. And this section right here equates to this section right here. And now we wanted to start here. And that's three over now. So you set the start point here. And you wanted to loop back from here. And 
and there you go. Now it's going to loop. It's going to start here where we wanted on this uh, the original graph. It's going to loop from the section we wanted, and it's going to go until the section we decided, which is right there. And what's this look like? Now, you might notice that we are entirely skipping this section right here, and that's true, but that that's the question that was asked on the forum pretty much. It sounded like was, how do you start at some point and then make it loop over this section? Uh, if you want the whole thing to play, then you should set your start point at the end. Sorry, at the beginning, duh. Now the whole thing plays before it loops. Um, so kind of complicated and not necessarily easy. Hopefully we, if not a better solution to this, maybe we can get like a an over button like we have in here where it just shifts the grid. That that would be a cool solution to this, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that he's gonna fix the looping points. Um, but this is how you can do it for now.